Several areas in the country are still experiencing power outages from time and again. This is despite a number of efforts Sesco has put in place to address this. But now Sesco Senior Manager for Corporate Affairs, John Kunda, but, uh, says this will soon end. Dr. Kunda that, uh, says Sesco has invested heavily you know, in renewable source energy, in, uh, such cases. as solar, to supplement hydropower. Uh, we depend on hydropower generation. Um, over 90% of our uh, generation is uh, hydro-driven. But uh, we have learned that weather-induced uh, you know, power deficits are likely to occur in uh, cases where we have uh, less rainfall or we have droughts. So what we have done as Esco Limited is to invest in a rich energy mix, uh, including solar, uh, wind, you know, and uh, other you know, uh, renewable energies, so that we have a rich mix of uh, hydro generation capacity, meaning we combine hydropower together with solar as well as wind so that in times when there are droughts we are able to supplement from other sources and the emphasis on clean and renewable energy is to ensure that we have sustainable energy generation you know for the country without uh, having deficits uh, in the future other alternatives in power generation in the country are also being considered by the utility company. Already, uh, the 600 megawatts with Power China is something that we have envisioned, and uh, very soon we'll be implementing the very project in Chibombo, Kafue, as well as Yavonga, and uh, at a cost of about uh, 548 million US dollars. That's a lot of uh, in, in investments. Already, we have 82 megawatts of solar injected into the national grid. And uh, again, that is part of our strategy to have a very rich energy mix uh, for power generation for Zambia. Currently, 82 megawatts of solar energy has been generated by a private company is being injected in the national grids. Martha Banazer, NBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.